City Public Schools are working with parents to improve behavior issues within the district. ABC 17 News reported behavior incidents spiked from the 2013-14 school year to the 2014-15 year. Those were above the state average. ABC 17's Lindsay Burning joins us live from Clarence Lawson Elementary School. Lindsay, presentations are being held for parents at every school in the district. Yeah, Marissa, tonight the superintendent and members of the district's behavior task force spoke to parents here at Clarence Lawson Elementary. And by mid October, they'll speak to parents in all 18 buildings about this year's strategic plan and how parents can help resolve behavior issues at home. Before, you know, when you had behavioral kids that nobody knew how to do anything or nobody knew how to handle them. And with this program that you are able to know what to do. Tonight, JCPS officials spoke to parents at Lawson Elementary School about the district's code of conduct, disciplinary consequences, and how parents can help with behaviors at home. The main message is that we have to work together to ensure a positive learning environment for our kids. And we all know that starts at home. Classroom disruptions can keep learning from uh, occurring. Data from the previous school year is not yet available, but in the 2014 to 15 school year, Behavior incidents in Jefferson City Public Schools more than tripled the number of incidents in Columbia Public Schools, which had nearly double the enrollment. Number one was classroom disruption, so classroom behaviors within the classroom. Number two was bus referrals, and number three was uh, recess and transition times. Superintendent Larry Lithicum says the district is starting to address the problem by communicating expectations to parents, students, and teachers. It might get worse before it gets better. We hope that's not the case. We just want to focus on connecting with kids, not focus Focusing on disciplining kids. Some student behaviors JCPS will focus on this year including appropriate language and conduct as well as appropriate dress tire and respect. Teachers also completed training with behavior interventionists before this year's school, school year started. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Lindsay Burning, ABC 17 News. Thanks.